All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here on the review table, and in front of me, I've got a little box. What's in the box? Well, I'm getting ready to tell you, but this is going to be a story, an evolution. I got a phone call from a gentleman named Chris. Now, Chris, his partner's in a company called Live Free Armory. Live Free Armory, right here in Melbourne, Florida. And he explained to me what they do. They have a tremendous machine shop, and they make some very unique products. A lot of those products are some things that you may use and not even know about it. But in any case, what he told me was, hey, we're going to start manufacturing a product and putting our brand on it. And I would like very much for you to come down here and take a look, not only at our shop, learn about our company, and... Uh, maybe take uh, one of the products out and test it for us. And I said, sure. So let's talk about this. Live Free Armory. Well, Melbourne, Florida, U.S. made. I sat down as long as with myself as well as uh, Mr. Pop's Quest. Now, we're going to get to this, okay? We're going to get to this thing. And uh, learned a lot about uh, this gentleman's company and the development of the company and where he is, the morals and the ethics behind his company, his people that work with him at that company, overseeing the machine shop, gave a tour of the machine shop, the quality control, the assurance, all the cool things. I handshaked with a bunch of the guys that worked there, and I will tell you this, an incredible uh, experience for me just to see where these things come from. Okay, so what is in this box? Well, Let's, let's do this. First of all, uh, Live Free Armory. This is the SIG P320 slide. Now, let's start from this aspect. This was one of the first handguns that I bought a long time ago. This is a SIG P... Not really one of the first. What am I thinking? This is a P320 compact. Now, as you know, the SIG P320 comes with the fire control module or unit or whatever they want to call it. So you can take a, a hang piece like this and you can put it into something like this, which is really one of the coolest things about the SIG platform. Really neat. These things pop in and out. You can take it and put it into an X5 like this and I can take it and I can put it into something like this. So he asked, would you be interested in checking out one of our slides? Okay, so let's quit beating around the bush and get to it. This is one, if you look at the package right there, very neat. And Chris, I want to say, I do like this thing. It's got that real, like a rubbery finish to it. Very unique. And I actually brought it to one of my retailers, and he liked it as well. He might be reaching out to you. So in any case, this is it. This thing was sent to me August 3rd, 2020. LFA, Live Free Armory Approved. It comes just like this. You get the uh, really cool sticker, but there it is. This is the Live Free Armory. This is their LF320 Elite. Look at that bad boy. Look at those cuts. Now the coolest thing is if you look at it, they were they they actually had this first. Uh, I, I know what somebody's going to say, and y'all go ahead and look on Sig's website, but they had that cut first. Very neat. The cool thing is, is we were able during the tour to watch these things getting machined. And one of the things that I learned is that this is made out of 416 stainless steel. Now there are different levels of 416 stainless steel. There are different places that people can get their 416 stainless steel and the high carbon content will lead to rust and corrosion. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, we've talked about that. And I learned a great deal about that industry while we were doing this. Now, the cool thing about these slides, look how simple they are. They're not covered up with a bunch of junk. You've got the little uh, eagle head right here. That's really cool looking. Let me see if I can make sure we get that. And you've got a little LF320 Elite, and that's it. But the, the lightning cuts in it, lightens up the slide. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, this slide by itself, now this doesn't have the striker. It doesn't have the extractor, the spring, the rear plate, but it, it does have the cover plate. Now, uh, speaking of the cover plate, you can get these milled out for just about anything. You just got to specify to them. This one, I believe, is for the RMR, maybe the Delta Point Pro. Can't remember. I had two different ones. So anyway, that slide weighs 9.6 ounces. For shits and giggles... And uh, it's not really fair to say, but I've got an X5 Legion sitting here and with a damn Delta Point Pro, <laughs> so we can't really weigh them out. Oh, but what I can do, I can show you the difference. Well, not really. 
Here's a, a 320 compact slot. 9.8 ounces. 9.6 ounces. So you can see those lightning cuts, they really do matter. All right, so what do you got to do when you do this? Um, you've got to put it together, which is pretty simple. And I'm going to show you here in a few minutes how I developed my slide. Because uh, I, I always start every project out with a concept. What am I going to do with this thing? Am I going to put an RMR? Am I going to put a dot on it? Uh, is it going to run a suppressor down the road? Probably. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's fun to, to uh, establish those kind of ideas. What are we going to do with it? And that's going to give you the outcome at the end of the day. Now, the advantage of these slides right now, I mean, I think it's got a blemish sale going on where these are $219. That's incredible. Uh, regular, uh, full blown, they're just a little bit more, $299. And then I think, hold on one second, let's look over here. You can actually, the regular price for a blemish is $270. That is a tremendously awesome price for these things. Uh, what's What does it entail to put one of these things together? Well, if you've got an existing 320 with a control module, fire control module, trigger control module, what do you want to call that? You can go ahead and take that, you can put it into your X5, and all you have to do at that point is, voila, put some sights on it. You need to take the extractor, the striker kit, you can install it in here. They have a full-blown video. All you gotta do really is to press that, remove your rear plate, everything slides out, slide it back in, and you're done. I think the hardest part about this whole thing was actually putting the sights in, and I've got a sight pusher, which didn't really give me any issues. Uh, the front sight, I actually had to take and put it in with a punch. But other than that, there it is. So, what's the big deal? Well, I'll tell you what. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, another thing you're going to have to do, because it does not come with a barrel or a guide rod or spring, bought these off of uh, Brownells. Look at that. I don't think that's... I've sprayed these things down. You're going to see a video here in a few minutes where we test fire this thing. Took it out. Uh, first round. Shot beautifully. The whole thing ran like a champ. Now, the cool part about it is you can take a full length slide and put it on a compact frame, just like that. So if you wanted to, and you had a compact, all you'd have to do is buy a new barrel and a uh, guide rod and a spring. And I got these off of uh, from Brownells, which they had them in stock. That's a mean looking firearm right there, but it's not as mean as this guy, which all you have to do, put it on there like that, slide it on, boom, you're done. And I'll tell you what, man, this, is absolutely awesome. I got some DNA <laughs> right there. We went and put a couple hundred rounds through it. Uh, not one malfunction. And I will tell you this. Very smooth. Very smooth indeed. Let's go ahead and check out the range video. And we'll be right back. Here you go. So I want you to look at that. How beautiful that is. The lines on that thing. The little cut right up here. How those suppressor height sights look on that thing. All together, just an outstandingly beautiful slide. Well done, guys over there at Live Free Army. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna put the, I would put the website down below, but uh, YouTube will go all crazy on me and everything. But, you know, you could guess it, Live Free Armory with a dot and a C-O-M on the end of it. Go figure it out. Go watch the story from Chris. Now, here's what we're going to do. I am going to take this guy right here. We're going to put some headphones on. And I've got some 10 inch targets set out there at about 10 yards. The first thing I like to do is I want to lock that slide to the rear. We're gonna take a magazine with a single bullet in it. And I wanna ensure, one, that it feeds. And it does. So now what we're gonna do is I'm going to, sure we're still in focus. We're gonna engage those targets and I wanna ensure for, I wanna make sure we're locking back. Here we go. All right, we're locked back. Perfect. I just want to make sure my sights aren't shifting. I had to use a uh, sight thing block installer for this thing. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take and put three rounds in this thing and see how she runs. Oh, I had one more round left. I had four rounds in there. Okay, but we know she lost back. 
Now what I'm gonna do, now that I know where the bullets are heading, low and left. <laughs> You're not gonna hit a whole lot aiming like that, especially at a 10-inch target. But guys, I have run before this video, when I actually did the previous video and I unfortunately forgot to hit the record button, I ran just as many rounds through it. Not a single malfunction and it just performs flawlessly. What I wanna do now, because I have another one of this, this is the LF Elite. I wanna take it back to the shop. I wanna put it on the table and I wanna show you uh, basically maybe the difference between this and an X5 Legion. This thing is sick. So anyway, let's get on back to the shop and check it out. Here we go, stand by. I tell you what, man, I get out to the range and I have just too much fun. So we're talking about the uh, comparison with the X5 Legion. Uh, basically, this is what you're looking at. Uh, the modules are basically the same, except for this guy's got the uh, tungsten infill. But here's the thing, you can take this slide And you can put it on here. Now, this is the cool part about these. Because I actually love these things. One, because if I want to, I can run this guy just like this. And I can use it with just the sights. And also uh, with the uh, gray guns uh, trigger system on it. But you don't talk about just... Oh. <laughs> but look at that. But yeah, in any case, just a, a well-made product. I'm very happy that uh, Chris and those guys down there have done a great job putting these things together and get different cuts done in, uh, tapped out for different uh, types of dots. Cerakote finishes, different types of Cerakote finishes. I got the Cedar Shop. They do the coating on site. But I will tell you this, man, what a beautiful piece of equipment. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, they do have the Pro, which just has a single slot up here that's cut out. And uh, it's very a little bit more simplified, a little bit more aggressive towards maybe not being so showy, but more towards uh, duty. But with that being said, guys, here you go. You can take and you can put this whole thing just like that. Well, there we go. Just like that on a full frame or you can purchase the slide. Hold on. And you can turn your little stubby into a long long dong daddy kind of like that <laughs> anyway that looks pretty cool as well but i'm a big fan of the x5 so anyhow guys if you got a 320 and you want to upgrade it to something absolutely really cool then i would recommend this thing i mean for the economic matters the economics even with the barrel uh lower grip module all i needed was the fire control unit and I think I had $90, $99 in the lower control group, another 90 bucks in a uh, barrel, a plus another $35, $40 in a spring. So you've got $330, $380 with the uh, sights, and these are Trigicon, and then uh, I think probably about $400 in a firearm that I wouldn't have any problems putting up side by side with uh, this tungsten bad boy. So anyway, with that being said, guys, Live Free Armory, uh, you guys did a great job. I really appreciate you sending this out. Looking forward to testing out the Pro and uh, building another one because, uh, man, that's just a bad mamma jam. It's Coda Boy 32 If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom comes in a LF320 Elite. Sweet is all I can say. Look at that. Y'all be good? I'm out.